Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to a new battery charger. This is the Power Genius C610. When I received it, uh, I was told to myself, oh, this is probably a basic clone copy of the IMAX with some basic uh, function as usual, charge, discharge, balance, and, uh, what, and uh, what, and storage. That's all. And in fact, I was completely wrong. This model offers much more new features and more. It's pretty cheap, something about $25, $26. Okay, you don't have the power unit with, but you can have a small one up to 12 volts, no problem. Delivering up to 3 ampere, it will be okay. So the full bundle will cost something about $40 maximum. So as new features what you have you have an internal battery a resistant matter that's great it's uh, but not only you have a lot of things and we uh, show in few instances so let's discover the content of this new battery charger okay so here is the box of the power genius and what we have we have this charger and first of all it's compact and light so uh, I don't know probably with some new modern uh, MOSFET you know to uh, uh, gaining in, in the weight so we have a CD-ROM to be honest I didn't open it but we should have a software maybe. okay let's have a look immediately to the accessories uh, we have a basic uh, but working a balancer uh, a plug okay so from 2s up to 6s ending with a 6s balancer plug we have a dc to a ba banana okay a non banana velcro yes so it's not very useful now but um, in fact you will have more uh, to provide your own uh, dc power unit ending with a dc uh, connector and the last item is this xt60 male to female so as connection we have the dc unit where you will have to power your power unit okay and on the uh, front panel we have the xt60 main power so no more uh, cinch uh, banana plug like usual and uh, we have a xt60 so you will need to connect like this well, and you will output in XT60 um, format. Well, I regret a little bit this choice to know the not classic uh, banana plug. Why? Because there are so many available uh, distribution connector cable like this. All of them is requiring some banana plug and you won't be able to use such direct uh, uh, extend cable like this with a ton of different type of connector. That's probably the main drawbacks of the C60 uh, 610, but it's like this. You have to plug the balancer plug through the 6S balancer. So no problem, okay. It's a basic one, but it's working. In terms of weight, I said it's pretty small and compact but if you are interested by I can give you some information so pro something about 250 grams so it's super light for a charger um, okay that's all nothing else so after uh, the my uh, uh, remark negative remark about the XT60 uh, choice let's power it and you will see I will retrieve the smile so I will use this uh, 12 volt uh, power unit source okay and here is the uh, model so first we have this powergenius.com message and we have five different main panel program so you have to go through them cycle them by the plus and minus button so the first is to charge or to have the battery application not only to charge but to balance etc we will see in a few instant the second is more to memorize up to nine or ten different programs. The third is very useful user, some user setting, you can adjust some uh, uh, voltage threshold and so on. And the fourth one is super interesting. We have some extra function and we will be uh, surprised. Finally, we have a monitor where you can monitor, the, for example, the individual cells and so on. Okay, so let's start with the first one. So we have to enter by pressing enter and what first you have to select the type of battery 
LiPo and good news LEHVR supported so the new one so no problem that's first of all a great news we have LiPo, LiHAV, Life, NEMH, NECD and uh, PROM. Okay so let's start select the LiPo I will press enter and then we have to select the type of program okay so maybe we make a small closer like this. yes so we can select the balance plug the charge okay the uh, storage the discharge okay and one more time returning to the balancer uh, plug so in, for here from here no real big change from other basic charger let's whatever try to uh, use the balancer program so i will use this uh, 4s battery okay and link with xt60 connector so i won't need any extra cable to connect it and i will plug the um uh, 4s balance a plug to the uh, board so now i will be able to use this uh, balance of plug it will detect automatically when you answer the battery that is a 4s okay and i will adjust the uh, amount of uh, amperage so let's say it's a 1100 i would try to balance up to twice more okay than the original uh, uh, capacity of the battery and I will press enter and I will set also the maximum cells, uh, individual cells voltage. For the IPO it's 420, but if you want, you can adjust and even increase. So be aware, do not exceed for the LiPo, but you can even charge up to 421 if you want. Do, don't do it, okay? But you can, that's great. And if you want, you can even decrease to 419 and below, okay? So to start the balancing plug, charging, you have to long press enter and you have this uh, button and then reconfirm start, okay? And it will check the main port and the battery and it will start the uh, charging, okay? So it's starting since three seconds and the amperage will grow up because we ask up to uh, two amper, okay? And it will grow up. Good news, in real time, if you press on plus and minus, you can monitor individually its, each uh, voltage of the um, uh, cells expressed in a millivolt, okay? So uh, actually, I don't think there is a choice to express in a volt, not in millivolt, but at least you have some super precise. If you press one more time, you have even monitored the internal impedance of each cell great that's great so super good news to exit if you press exit button it won't quit the uh, balancer current mode okay so it's still uh, balancing okay a mode and but if you i press one more time exit stop then it will stop okay so i would say it's good pretty good but not so much different than other uh, battery charger are offering now i will exit and return to the uh, main five program so the program for the battery the first one i will go to the user setting to show you the different choices i will press enter you can select or not to emit a beep when i press a sound okay the volume of the emitted beep you can uh, select the cpr ring okay i'm not sure what is it used for the internal voltage cutoff okay you can select also um the capacity cutoff if it's turned on or on okay internal temperature of the cutoff and etc external cutoff temperature so we have internal and external that's great and remember we have also uh, a plug to connect uh, a temperature sensor okay so oh, it reboots because my cable is not super uh, fantastic so i will return to uh, reboot one more time okay we disconnect sorry is my uh, power unit because i i modded uh, my uh, this cable okay so um okay return to the user settings sorry okay and we have a timer okay if you want to stop at uh, over a nominal time the uh, charging or the op current operation uh you have the balance uh, control standard or you can select uh, accurate or 
fast, okay, if you don't want to, for example, more than 0.1 volt of difference between each cell or 0.001, etc. So you can select the level of accuracy. Uh, I will select standard and we have the fan control, it's auto, so over temperature, and we return to the first. Uh, no, no, there is also CVI cutoff, I don't know what it's used for, and the max power output, 120 watt, it's a lot, okay, and the factory has the settings, we can select the language and we return. So a lot of different options. Let's have a look now to the fourth one, extra function. So I will press enter and here we have the internal resistance tester. That's great. Let's check that. And after a couple of seconds, he compute individually all the impedance of each cell. So uh, 19 for the first cell, 18 for the second, 23 for the third and 24 for the uh, fourth. So not so bad. No lot of discrepancy between cells. And if we uh, press plus, we have the current voltage, okay? Uh, so we can exit and we have other option. Let's press, uh, okay, we have to wait a couple of seconds. Sorry, I reactivate the uh, monitoring. I will now, the second option is the cell balancer. So if you want to adjust just the uh, difference of voltage between each cell, it will run the uh, balancing, okay, itself until to converge to the same value, probably here to 3800, okay? That's great, so we have a balancer function. Let's continue. We have a servo PPM tester, so you will have to plug here and you will be able to test your servo, okay, to apply some command in PPM mode. That's great! For such cheap price of, of, of charger, we have such functions, that's great. And more, it's not over. We have a voltage calibration, okay, if you want to adjust your uh, the internal sensor of the voltage to your uh, what are display your uh, digital multimeters, okay, you can calibrate it. For example, you can adjust with your current value and it will adjust exactly to your exact uh, measurement. And the last one is a digital DC power. You can use your charger as a DC power. So if, for example, if you need a plus five volt or plus 5.3 volt, you will be able. So that's great. I will disconnect the main battery because I don't want to damage it. Okay, but if you want to connect a source, okay, and a load, whatever, and you can power it, okay, and you can select the voltage. We have a step of 0 0.1 volt, not so bad, okay, and then you can select the amperage, okay, you can decrease it. So let's say we want a source up to one ampere and only three volt. So the lower value you can uh, output is 3 volt and the maximum, let's say that, okay, it's not bad, 24 vo 4 volts, that's great, and we can even select the amperage, okay, so of course the power consumption will increase, but it's great, so if you need to power up to 24 volts, a load a machine requiring 1.6 ampere you will be able that's great for, i'm really impressed for such price to have such feature so i'm really pleased and you can be you can use this uh, 6610 for your d yourself project electronic project as a power unit that's great so um i think we are make a tour of all the uh, uh, in, uh function but we have a fifth one, we have a monitor, so I think I will need to replug the uh, battery, my battery, because we will monitor the current one. So the 4S, sorry. And I will press monitors. And we can see that uh, the input is my power unit, is delivering 12.6 volt, and the battery current uh, 15.2, okay, and we have the uh, uh, individual voltage of each cells, and voila. So, uh, as you can see, 
with this uh, poor genius 660 610 we have a lot of new features and i'm really impressed really it's a 120 watts module so no problem to charge in parallel several 3s okay uh so for example three uh 2000 milliamps power 3s battery in parallel without any problem we can monitor the individual voltage cells the internal resistance of each alt uh, we don't have um, the summation uh, okay uh, cumulative information about the um, um, internal resistance but it's okay you, you you need that each cell have uh, more or less the same uh, low values as possible but more or less uh, in the same range to uh, confirm that your battery is in good health if you see that one cell is uh, got a very uh, for example twice or three times more uh, uh, resistant value it means that one cell is damaged and the battery uh, can be uh, uh, very dangerous okay because uh, the, you can make some problem and the battery need to be uh, uh, discarded okay so i hope you enjoy this uh, new video about a battery charger i don't do some uh, very uh, usually uh, very uh, re um, regularly sorry so um I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please submit and see you next time. Bye bye.